Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday, and breaking free from anything that's holding you back from having the best day ever and becoming the best version of yourself. Today is the best day ever. Why not? Um, it's a good day. Don't take good days for granted around here. String those good days together. Got a lot I want to talk about. Sorry I was not around for Monday's typical episode. I did go with the fam to Kalahari Water Park in Pennsylvania in the Poconos and that was really nice. Uh, we spent Sunday night there, Sunday there, Monday there. A lot of water slides, uh, a lot of waiting on stairs in the lines. Had so much fun. The girls had a lot of fun. We spent some time in the arcade. We had some special meals. We snuggled at night and talked and watched a little basketball and had a good car ride. And, and it overall, it was really good. I wish I would have maybe got some more footage of that. As my friend Sam um, brought up, I could have got myself going down the slides and I was convinced that I was meeting my demise for a couple of those. Boy, I don't like heights. And oh, one was just dropped. I think it was called the barreling baboon I thought I didn't think I was gonna make it down that one but I did and we went on it a few times and it was all good um, I'll post a pic of the girls in the arcade but the water park itself wasn't very um, conducive to cameras you could put your camera in a in like a water sealed bag and stuff but I don't know maybe I should have got some more footage but we had a good time and uh, a great vacation last week I'd like to recap what I did for instacart and spark and made two hundred and fifty five dollars I got out there and I made sixty five dollars today this is quite the short week because I did not work um, Monday or Tuesday doing doing shops I did some today but I didn't do it for very long because the family's home and this and that but um, we'll see where that ends up getting me I also sold my first t-shirt last night some shirts that I told you I'll add a picture in right now. Syracuse Bruce Springsteen shirt finally sold. We just about doubled our money. I wanted to triple our money on that thing, but you know what? We made a sale and it's pretty cool. Like uh, I'll never forget that first sale. And who knows? It could be the start of many more. And actually, um, Bruce is going to tie in a little bit to the topics that I want to talk about today. The first topic I want to talk about I'd like to start the week off with kind of a Bible verse to kind of set myself straight set my mind straight uh, put me at ease clear my thoughts and what I wanted to talk a little bit about today was contentment and there's actually a Bruce Springsteen verse that came to mind that I'll play real quick on the guitar as I go through that Bible verse the next thing I want to talk about is eight life-changing skills that you need to learn that will help you and that have helped me on my break-free journey. And finally, seven things not to say again. Um, if you don't say these seven things, your mind will become invincible. Your mind will become free. And I think you'll find some value from those as well. So let's just dig right into it. The Bible verse that jumped out at me today dealing with contentment is Ecclesiastes 6, 9. It says, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. Ooh, that's, that's sick right there. Um, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. Man, that, that really sums it all up. And the sight of the eyes. Uh, my kids and wife sitting across the table from me at a meal. Um, the coffee cup in my hand here my phone, um, my house, I'm not at work, I've had some time off, um, the food in our refrigerator, the beautiful weather that we've been having, my guitar, so many things that my eyes can see that are better than the wandering of desire. And we talk about desire a lot on this channel. Desire is a contract that you make with yourself to suffer until you get said object. There is nothing out there that you can get that will make you happy forever. Desire, you're gonna be craving um, an insatiable lust and those cravings and those desires grow and grow and it enlarges and it consumes. Once you get something else, you want something more. Um, 
and that's with everything. I think that's that's the basis of how humans typically are, and that's what we're trying to break free from, and that's what I'm trying to break free from. And while I can look around and, and see all the blessings that I can look upon with my eyes, I still have twinges of wandering desire, um, more time off, more money, um, more accolades. Um, I didn't work Tuesday and it was the first night in like 94 years that the whole front of the house at the place that I work at was all women and my boss did a shout out and that was awesome but part of me felt like oh I want that too but there's been plenty of shout outs for me and so like why you know no look at it with two handles the glass ceiling was broken because of me taking the night off and we're so lucky to have those two people so there's nothing me there um, I went on vacation why do I want more maybe I could have went to a more tropical place a, a cooler spot maybe I could have taken a plane to vacation instead of driving two hours um, but you just want more and okay so if I went there then what you know I would have wanted more it just it keeps going and it keeps going until all of creation there's never enough and like Mr. Springsteen said in the song Badlands just a little part Poor man want to be rich, rich man want to be king. And the king ain't satisfied till he rules everything. I want to go out tonight, I want to find out what I've got. Poor man want to be rich, rich man want to be king. And the king ain't satisfied till he rules everything. It just, it just goes on and on. There's a sliding scale. So many people will desire what we have, and we're going to desire what other people have, but we've got to break free from that and be content with our hearts full of peace and full of the Lord's blessing and know that this is enough, and enough is the basis for freedom and happiness. And getting into the second topic of today, eight life-changing skills to learn. And these are all practices. It's not going to happen overnight. Number one is public speaking. My job has taught me public speaking. Um, man, I can remember going up to the first few tables, introducing myself to complete strangers, telling them the specials. Oh, it was so awkward, and my knees were knocking. I didn't have what I was going to say down, and saying the wrong thing half the time, calling people ma'am. I learned quickly not to do that. Um, and that's helped me throughout life. It's probably helped me with this channel. Um, I unfortunately had to give a eulogy, which I was at least comfortable enough to do and, and do it with honor and respect. And I didn't have to struggle too much having to do that. And it happens through persistence and consistency. And if you can work on your public speaking skills, I know it will pay off for you in the future on your freedom journey. The second is going to be to manage your time. Being busy does not mean you're being effective. Focus on your priorities. I know there's a lot of times where I can get going and and I'm not doing things that I have to do. I'm doing things that I just created for myself to do and I need to focus a little bit more, um, schedule my time a little bit better, don't waste my time, manage my time and just being busy does not mean being effective. Number three, having empathy. Um, you can be brilliant, you can be wealthy, you can be disciplined, but if you do not care for other people, then something is, is very wrong. Um, to empathize, to understand other people's feelings. And I felt that the other day, sometimes I feel overly empathetic and I wish I could help and I think part of it is with this channel but then the other day we were out to dinner splurging on vacation and the server who of course I can identify with sets down the food and there's just cuts and scars all the way up and down the arms and I just felt awful in that moment and 
that was not something that I could brush aside and not feel and not feel sad and by and and I'm hoping and she seemed happy at the time she said she'd been at that place for four years and I'm hoping that was in her past and I don't know what to say about it. I tried to look it up a little bit that that there was cutting because they weren't in control and the, the emotions had to be put there into their into their body instead of maybe focused in a better way, but I hope that anyone sees this video um, maybe can enlighten me a little bit on it and also I hope that I can enlighten them and to show that there's a better way to process emotions uh, that we've talked about several times on this channel, um, healthy ways, and to break free from the negative ways to, to figure out those emotions. Number four, positive self-talk. Um, I catch myself, oh, Jay, you dummy. No, I try not to even do that. Um, it doesn't matter what others think of you, but it certainly matters what you think of you. And if you don't think very highly of yourself right now, I understand that it's not going to happen overnight. But again, a matter of consistency and persistence and filling your brain with positive thoughts and only letting positive thoughts in and watching yourself talk, you will build yourself up and have more positive feelings about yourself and about your current situation. Uh, number five, be honest with yourself. Be brutally honest with yourself. Um, those cigarettes that you are smoking, they're killing you uh, slowly. Um, the beer that you're drinking daily at the bar to escape a situation, that's it's your fault. You're in charge of your own stuff. It's not because somebody else did you wrong that you have a free pass to do that. Um, the lies that you tell yourself and that you tell others that it's not that bad. Um, you know, really do a reality check. And if you're honest with yourself, that's gonna pay off in the future and on your break free journey. Number six, stop whining. Um, this one hits a little bit more home for me to practice no whining, no criticizing, no complaining um, about what will happen, about what will not happen about what we do not have, about what somebody else just did or somebody else just didn't do. Um, about how you feel, you know. Marcus really said, do not even be heard complaining, not even to yourself. How, how mind-blowing is that? Don't even complain um, to your wife, your friends, your co-workers, to your... YouTube subscribers. I try not to ever complain. Um, and it's a practice. And criticizing. You know, build people up instead. Um, there's no problems, there's only solutions. As John Lennon said in the song Watching the Wheels, which is one I want to dig deep into lately, because sometimes I feel that's what I'm doing. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. Talk about. Um, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of desire. I think if we can just watch the wheels and, and be okay with where we are in the universe, and I really love to watch them roll, like you can be happy just doing that, just spending time at home, just spending time with your family. You don't have to chase. Don't you miss the big time, boy. You're no longer on the ball. You don't have to chase uh, the tropical vacations and uh, the 100k salary if you're not happy and even if you are happy that's fine but it's not for everybody and if you want to watch the wheels watch the wheels um, enjoy what your eyes can see don't complain don't criticize don't whine you'll be better off for it number seven focus on the present moment it's where you will have the greatest control right here right now when you're watching this I'm going to assume it's going to be a little bit later tonight by the time I get this slightly edited and uploaded. So wherever you are tonight, right now, this is where you have the most control. Believe it or not, this is where you will feel the most at ease. Like, okay, 
Sometimes I get a little anxious about work. There's going to be a big party coming in or I got to really be on for my regular customers. And once you're in the eye of that hurricane, you're fine. It's right in the moment. You're actually going to be the most at ease. Right in the moment is where happiness flourishes. I think to myself, this is what I was anxious about. Um, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Right in the moment. We can handle every moment. Uh, happiness and the present moment are connected just like that. Not the past, not the future, but be here now where happiness and the present connect. And number eight, to be consistent. Success is not a one-time action, but a process. I wish that it was. Um, you know, you get that workout in, you get that walk in, you get that salad in, and that was the success, but what's going to pay off? It's going to be the consistency over and over again and do not be hung up do not mourn your failures um, move on I try to do that at work I try to do that in other places in my life I haven't made a mistake thank goodness at work in a long time but I've made some big ones in the past I think about Mariano Rivera giving up the game-winning hit in the World Series but he's the greatest closer of all time uh, shooters are gonna shoot they have a short memory you just, I'm, I'm out there shooting. I'm hustling. I like to think that I push hard, harder than any waiter that I've ever seen. And we were brought up to push pretty hard in the restaurant that I work in, in a respectful way. Um, shooter's going to shoot. Just keep going. Um, don't, don't mourn it. Success is also not a destination, but a process of consistency in your journey. And what do we do on this channel? We enjoy the journey. Just like freedom isn't a destination. It's a process. It's a journey. Every day is a fresh start. Every moment is a fresh start. And consistency will set us free. And the final thing I want to talk about today is to never say these seven things again. And your mind will become free. Your mind will become invincible. I like this one a lot. Number one, don't say that you are sick. Say, I am healing. It's belief effects in your mind that is actually going to help you uh, heal faster. I and try to envision yourself too as a healthy person. Like I don't get sick, you know. Um, I'm not the kind of person who gets sick. And sometimes when you feel under the weather, hopefully it'd be just a day type thing, and you'll get back going. Don't say I have constructive criticism for you. Say, can I give you some constructive feedback? Number one, first you're asking, which is a plus, and number two. It doesn't raise the mental roadblock of saying criticism. Constructive feedback, I think, will help the person who you're trying to help out. Uh, number three, don't say, I can't do this. Say, I can't do this yet. Whether that is, I remember opening wine was a very difficult thing for me um, until I just practiced it and practiced it and felt more comfortable at the tables. And now it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, riding a bike with the kids. I can't do this. No, you just can't do this yet. Um, any skill, video editing. You guys remember when I couldn't even edit anything and I'm still learning. I can't do this. No, I can't do this yet. Um, and there's plenty of things that I can't do yet and not necessarily that I can't do. So same thing goes for you. Just not yet. And... Um, the next one is going to say, don't say but. It erases the previous sentence like, all right, I went for a two-mile walk today, but um, I saved 15% of my income, but um, I've never shown up late for work, but, <laughs> you know, say the word and. It's going to get your point across and without the defense. I really like you, but um, I like this channel, but, you know, so without the defense there, it will still get your point across. I like this channel and um, I save 15% of my income and I'm never late to work and so try to work on that. Number five, don't characterize yourself. Don't say I'm always late. Your brain will accept that and make excuses. 
others will subconsciously also think that about you. They'll store it. I keep saying, I'm always late. I'm always late. I'm always late. People will think this is the guy that's always late and your brain will also be like, it's okay if you're late because you're always late. You know, don't characterize it. Don't say I'm always sad. Um, don't say I'm always a pain to be around. Don't say I'm always sick. I'm always hurt. I'm always spending too much money. Don't characterize yourself. Number six, don't say no problem. This is a big one. Um, I've heard my boss say this a few times. Don't say no problem. Say, you know, I'm happy to help. It's more open. It's more warm. If you say no problem, others feel subconsciously that it could have been a problem. And I totally get it. Um, you know, especially to your boss doesn't want to hear what you just did was no problem. You know, you got to do it. So I try not to say no problem. I'm sure sometimes it slips out, but again, it's a practice. And finally, don't say I am so easily. Um, again, it deals with the last few. Don't, your identity is huge. We've talked about that in Breaking Free. You are not a smoker, not I'm trying to quit. No, I am not a smoker. Um, I'm trying to save money, no. I don't waste money. I save money. Um, don't say, I am old. I am dumb. I am a job. I'm just a waiter. No, I am a diagnosis. I am neuropathy. I am chronic pain. I am whatever your diagnosis might be. I am a political party. Don't limit yourself. You are much more than those things. Um, your identity is powerful. Focus on positive identities. Old is just a state of mind. You know, I can say I'm old to my kids. I can say, but then I'm just I'm just a kid to somebody else. You know, and and age is just a number. And when you say I'm dumb, that's so limiting. No, you're much more than that. You're not just a waiter, you know. Your waiter is not your identity. Um, I'm much more than that. And if I didn't wait tables tomorrow, I'd move on with my life and I would still be the same person. I'm Jay. Um, I'm JB Breaks Free. And there's a lot of power in that. There's a lot of love in that, a lot of joy in that, a lot of contentment in that, um, and so much more. So never, never just say that you are your job. You're not your illness, and you're not your political party. You are more than that. You are breaking free. You're becoming the best version of yourself, and you're stringing the best days ever together to have the best week, the best month, the best season, the best year, and the best life. And that's what I'm trying to do too. Today is a success. I thought it was going to rain, but man, the sun's peeking out right now. I'm going to bring the kids out back and I'm going to kick around the soccer ball with them. And it's going to be a lovely night. I'm going to work the next three nights, get ready for Easter. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. There'll be one up for Good Friday. I want to start to get ahead on some videos where I can do some different things on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays and even Sundays. Um, different things um, that I'm excited about and I'm looking forward to uh, bringing to you guys. So let me know how you're doing. I can't wait to hear from you. I missed you Monday and I'll talk to you soon. Break free.